if you're doing something that is not so common in that community extraordinarily effort that you are doing in your community you deserve to be called a hero or in any case a shiro now on the same day i'm privileged and very much honored to talk to a celebrated professor here in Barara. You cannot come to this region with any problem around, ah, okay, in our understanding, around head, I would say, head issues, and you're not going to hear the name Professor Kitia. Prof, you could say hi to the viewer, and we start from there. Hello, viewers. My, my name is Dr. David Kitia. Yes, sir. I work as a neurosurgeon in Mbara Regional Fire Hospital and in this community. Okay, very, very privileged. Prof, when we ran uh, 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 a call from the Mbara University of Science and Technology community, both staff, students, were looking at names we know are going to go down in the history of the university and the history of the region anyway as those that have diligently done their work uh, extraordinarily the name professor kitia was among those that came uh do you feel proud about that <laughs> before we proceed yeah yes yes <laughs> I, yes i, I am and yeah. uh, i would like to thank those who nominated me as a hero okay. for this for this year yes Bagamba and Tassima, a word you are. So I appreciate that <laughs> gesture. Wow, mm. very, very important over there. Prof, for someone that is viewing us for the very first time and hearing you, uh, you know, for the very first time, let's start because you said you are a neurosurgeon. Yes. That is more of um, scientific. Mm. If we are to break it down for the public, mm. what would it go for? What would it mean? It means a, a, a surgeon who treats patients with head problems and uh, spine problems, back problems. Mm. Yeah, we could we could we could pick a few and, and look at them. Um, they treat patients of a brain injury. They treat patients of spinal cord injury, they treat patients of uh, hydrocephalus, um, brain tumors, brain infection, they treat patients of uh, congenital problems like uh, hydrocephalus, although hydrocephalus could be post-infective, like in our case it is commonly post-infective, but it can be a congenital problem, a congenital problem. They treat conditions of um, back problems, like in babies, congenital swellings in the back. Ah, yeah. So all the conditions, our papas and mamas used to say, that one, if you get that injury, you're gone. You're talking about someone, for example, gets an, an accident. So we're talking about the injuries here, or the cord is broken yeah. and all that. Yeah quite hard mm -hmm. for there um, <clears throat> if one called you mm -hmm. named you the Jesus of the world mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't have a problem with us I, I would have a problem because uh, we, we, we cannot compare ourselves to to the Lord because we, we work for him we, we he sends us to serve the, his people we treat and then he chores. Prof, that was to say that what you do is not for everyone. Not everyone is going to open the head and reassure whoever went there is going to come back alive. Yeah. And you have done that for years. Talking about doing it for years, mm -hmm. let's talk a few numbers that you remember. Mm -hmm. uh, in your history of your work, mm -hmm. could you remember a few numbers you say now i think i've worked on a thousand heads <laughs> that is to ask it a, 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 if a thousand heads yes I'm probably more than that since i started uh, working on heads but i i can say uh 
for example how many cases we see per year okay yeah, and i would true. say that uh, the, the numbers keep on increasing per year and the last year we worked on we admitted over 1500 cases of neuro cases and the previous year we admitted over 1100 cases of neuro of, of, of neuro cases so they keep on increasing per year both in the clinic and on the ward and in uh, theaters ah okay we are talking about at the regional level uh, no the hospital level okay that is hospital level ah, hospital uh, the cases we have admitted <coughs> the cases we have seen in, in outpatient and uh, the cases we have operated on okay uh, um earlier today when we posted and say wait for an interview with prof mm -hmm. kitia someone said I hope he helps and talks about you know the report the recent report yeah. that around 14 million Ugandans are running mad yeah. I do not know whether that actually has any connection with your line of work that is um, under psych psychiatry but uh, some of our patients can be can 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 get there, uh, especially those who have trauma, neuro trauma, brain injuries. Yes. Um, neuro post traumatic psychosis is a common problem uh, following trauma, depression, uh, uh, epilepsy. A common condition is which compound uh, neurosurgical issues, especially trauma. Prof, uh, a, a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. you were so, it was really so human of you, or humble of you, not to compare yourself to Jesus, because there are cases, I know, or situations where family members of a victim can only say, it's only Jesus, really, that is going to work here. If we are to look into your history, uh, well, of course, I know you see some of these cases every other day, but we could pick point if you remember a situation or a case that even you knew um, you had, I think, one chance of this patient getting out and they got out. I don't know if there is that unique one that you could pick point. Did it come out well? Yes, okay. I think the common patients we talk about are those who have um, blood old blood collection in the in 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 the inside there um, <clears throat> when they come in they are low uh, clinically they are low uh, they are non talking they are they are very sick and we take them to theater there are many we take them to theater and uh, a simple operation like making a hole on the head will, 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 will cause a very big change in this patient. A very big change. I think those are the ones that we should talk about. And they are probably one of the, that is one of the commonest operations we do in this hospital. And one of the commonest operations people do in your surgical unit. Mm. Prof, as I enter the hospital mm. with this victim or patient or a case yeah. for that matter, mm. there's that probability of he's dying, he might actually get back. Yeah. Whatever you go through in the room there, mm. you're perhaps about to share with us, mm. but you know it ends with breaking the news. Mm. Let's go the emotion side of it. Mm. How do you go about that? Because we we pre we prepare them even before we go to operate them. First of all, we grade our patients, so we shall know the risks involved, and we 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 use that to talk to to, to the attendants what to expect. Uh, as they take consent to operate this patient, we shall review to them what are the chances of survival of this patient. So, later when we come back, 
and tell and talk to them we have prepared them before the operation they know what to expect they know what to expect yes you in there what is going through your mind or your used um, i don't know does it have to do anything to connect your emotions but but then uh, we are like a soldiers on the front line yes uh once once a, a, a war has been declared you go and fight so the same thing with the surgeon the war has been declared you go and uh, try to save this patient's life and when he improves of course you are it's a very big relief to you you feel very happy that you have saved this patient and when you don't then you know that this was not a, a good day for for this, this okay uh, on a good day i i wouldn't really want to discuss numbers of you know deaths mm -hmm. but uh, on a good day if we are to categorize mm -hmm. your uh, these cases could we really get a percentage that uh, is going to move off uh, healthy again i, I don't know if, if that's the, the, I, I would say the out. majority of of, of of it depends actually on on, on the condition you're talking about as I told you, we grade our patients, especially those of trauma, they are graded. Uh, if you talk about severe injuries, a good number will, will, will go. If you talk of mild and moderate, a good number will survive. So, tell us what, what it is. I, I, like you guided before entering, you have told us the chances of this gentleman coming out or not. When you come out, and the operation was, is, was a success. Mm -hmm. As you bring out the news, mm -hmm. I want to believe as you open the door, you come out indeed as a hero. Mm -hmm. You're bringing heroic kind of news. What has been the experience mm -hmm. within the family members mm -hmm. and to your side? I don't know, yes. Yeah, many, many, many people, many attendants are appreciative. They are appreciative of what uh, has been done to their relative and uh, some of them they come and uh, physically thank you for what you have done some of them come with uh, some little token mm. a, a chicken here a bunch of matoke there i want to believe <laughs> yeah because so, we are in this region perhaps yeah. cows are in the question yeah yeah, yeah so okay mm. wow yeah. that is what you get actually when you do heroic work and that is why we are profiling him he's going to go down in history of the university the hospital and the region in case you're actually there and you have his testimony don't feel bad to come around to give that testimony prof the day is for those that do a lot for the community we believe and celebrate you and happy for you uh for whatever you actually do let's end it with um your final message to uh the public in it could it also feature how we could actually avoid or prevent trauma mm. thank you very much yes many many, many times we many of these conditions which we work on are preventable i said that uh, the communist condition we, we talk we treat in this region is neuro trauma and trauma is preventable if we observe road safety guidelines as they were given to us by the government we can avoid trauma and when we avoid trauma then we shall cut down on the, on the number of cases we see in the hospital. Hydrocephalus, spina bifida are also preventable. The congenital neotube problems are preventable. If we take folic acid, we've been told that um, all mothers of childbearing age should be taking folic acid because it had been proved that uh, this can can prevent those cases being produced in the um, 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 in our communities and even tumors tumors are also preventable uh, by if we, we we discuss how they come about uh, they are also preventable and so if we could pay particular attention to prevention of of, of, 
of diseases in the community. We shall go a long way in uh, having a healthy community. Thank you very much. So once again, I thank those who nominated me for this for, for this year. Uh, for this, it's, it's, a, it's a big thing to be appreciated by by uh, by by people in the community you work with. Uh, so I wish everybody a, 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 a happy Heroes Day.